welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Raya and my YouTube channel is Raya underscore home for four. In my area where I live, we don't get snow or ice a lot, but <laughs> it is your lucky day because I am going to be able to do a review of the Sorel shoes that I unboxed sometime in January or December. If you haven't watched that video, you should check out the link over here or over here so that you can see the unboxing of that winter boots. But today, um, I am going to do a quick review of how this um, winter boots would stand in the snow and in the ice. Uh, there are three things that I'm going to be uh, testing these. Uh, this boots, I am going to be testing it if it is actually waterproof, um, if the insulation is good, and finally if it has like a good grip underneath, like in the outsole at the bottom. So there's that. Right now it is 9 or 10 degrees um, in our area where I live. So for now my feet feels insulated so far. Um, it's not that big of a drop of a degrees in our temperature over here in the weather so insulation is pretty good so far but we don't know because we are just 15 minutes into it um, from my inside the house to outside the house so we're just 15 minutes outside so we don't know how long this insulation will withstand so next I will be going downhill a little bit over here and let's see if the traction is good So far the traction for the for the snowy like snow walking or maybe walking your dog type of situation the traction is pretty good um, we're gonna be changing location where we will be walking on ice we'll see if we can find that spot we found a good spot over here that is a little bit of ice so I am going to be testing the um, grip resistance or the traction for this snow boots So the next thing that I am going to be testing is their claim to for this boots to be waterproof because the bottom part of the over here is plastic made of plastic and then this one over here is supposed to be um, waterproof nylon material um, since there is no rain but the particular purpose of these boots is for winter and snow I'm gonna be dumping snow on my boots and we'll see if there are like um, snow that's gonna seep in inside or a little bit of wetness that I will feel inside the boots So we will keep there for a while. We'll see if I'll, um, if there's gonna be snow that's gonna seep in in my shoes or in my feet later on. So, we'll we'll talk about that later.
So right now I buried my um, boots under a little bit of a pile of snow just so I would feel or I would know how what do we feel if you're gonna be walking a deep um, pile or a deep level of snow because right now I don't have that much but anyway right now I can already feel the cold inside my feet so I, I could probably say that it the insulation is pretty okay but um, wearing a well insulated socks is is helping a lot or it would be helping a lot so one of the things that you're gonna have to remind yourself is to wear a good insulated socks on like underneath your snow boots So I think I did a pretty good review based on the amount of snow that I have here in my area and I've listed the pros and cons for the Sorel winter boots and they're claiming that they have like extra grip traction because of the herringbone um, design on the outer sole over there. Okay, um, they said they have a, they, there is an extra grip on that one but as, I can, as you can see in the, in the video, um, it only works with snow but it doesn't have that much grip when you're walking on ice so i do not recommend using these boots or it's really up to you you can test it out yourself but for me i don't feel safe walking on ice with this this boot um this is probably going to be good just for like working from your car to your ve to your um to your office or working from your house to your vehicle type of situation or kind of like a city um urban type of um, amount of snow not in a very icy um, location or something like that insulation is good um, but you're gonna have to rely on a very good um, insulated socks so if you're gonna have to protect your feet because I feel like when I was burying my feet under the snow earlier um, it took it a little bit to seep in or to, for the cold to seep in inside my feet but I felt it but since I guess I was wearing a very good insulated sock, so it kind of helped a little bit. So there's that. And finally, the waterproof on the nylon material over here and then the plastic. I think they are um, pretty great. There's no watery or um, wet wetness that I feel inside my feet. So that's pretty good. And I like it, of course, because it's stylish and functional. But other than that, for the purpose of this video, I would say... Um, on the con side, I would say I don't like this part over here because it's it's crunching. So I don't know how would I feel if I would be walking a lot. Like if you're going to be walking your dog in the park or something like that. I don't know. Your feet might, might hurt because it doesn't have a lot of um, insole cushion. The only thing that you have inside is the felt insole, the insulated material. If you can see it in my video when, when I was unboxing, there is a removable 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 insole material and that's only thing that you have inside there's not much um cushion over there and the boot is um a little heavy um i think that's a con for me and like i said earlier it has like less or zero grip on ice so and then um finally um my recommendation is that this shoes it's good only for city life, like walking in the park or walking from your house to your vehicle or vehicle to your office kind of situation, like a short distance. I do not recommend this for like snow hiking or maybe this is good for skiing because you're going to be on a ski and you don't have to worry about slipping because you're going to be on a ski. So mm, probably, but there's that. I hope you like this or you find this video helpful. And if you haven't watched the first video, don't forget the uh, first part of it. Don't forget to watch it. The link is over here or over here. I would like to say thank you. I am originally from the Philippines. Sa mga Bisaya, daghan, daghan kayo salamat sa pagsiyugtanaw sa akong mga YouTube videos. Sa mga Tagalog, maraming maraming salamat sa parating pananood ng mga YouTube videos ko. And to all subscribers and viewers all over the world and here in the United States, thank you, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed and you like what I'm doing, 